Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, and today I'm going to be reacting to more K-pop that I've missed, so um, the first one is Everglow, la -di da this just came out like this morning, I have not seen it, um, so I have not seen, t the only teaser I saw was like for the album, like the album teaser photos were done like outside the diner, Route 66, um, that's the only like teaser I've seen, I've not heard any teasers, so I'm gonna get straight into it. Ooh. I already love it. Oh my god! Synth pop? <gasps> oh my god, I was not expecting. Okay. The, the visuals! Now I- Now I know why they took their time with this comeback! Oh ho ho! It's like 80s like concept. already know my dad will love this. My dad loves Everglow and he loves 80s music, so like, ooh! Oh no! Oh my god, they're so cool. Visuals are killing me! A proper chorus! Yes! I was saying this has potential to be like my favorite Everglow song. This has potential to be audio, so we're just saying a lot. Also, the um, song, the Yatha Disco side, I was saying like in terms of K pop, I mean, I think of synth pop, I think of like Sun Me. Um, it's, I mean, it's making me think of La 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 by April. It's making me think of Dua Lipa, like her recent album. Um, um, I'm trying to think of what else. It's really good. It's it's got it's definitely an older and like an older K-pop vibe. Back when they had those like retro throwback songs, you had like Step by Car. This sounds nothing like Step by Car, but I'm just talking on my ass. So yeah. Anyway, um, I don't know specifically what it reminds me of, but I love it. Again, I'm loving the visuals. I want to say the other thing is that um, I've noticed like there's this trend like recently like in music where like you've kind of been going back, you got like 80s retro, kind of like 70s, you got disco, you got like the kind of throwback stuff, getting it from like um, The Weeknd, from like Dua Lipa, you know, it's like that's been like a Lady Gaga going back to like dance pop. It's been like a trend recently and I'm like, I'm so happy that this trend is reaching K-pop because oh my god, we need it. Like I love the other songs that are like hip hop or like badass, I love those songs, and it's like, oh, the forgot to write a chorus engine. Like, I like some of them, but then it gets really old and it's really overdone, especially for groups. So I'm like, thank you, thank you for you and Sun Me for saving the industry and Tame and thank you. I'm joking, but about saving the industry. The song it's reminding me of is Physical by Dua Lipa, and I fucking love that song. This chanting's reminding me of, like, Signature. So, like, ah, ah! But, oh, right, that reminds me of, like, Signature. Old K-pop vibes. My friend who doesn't listen to modern K-pop. <laughs> the 
visuals. Vocals. Holy shit. That exceeded any expectations I had. I just want to say in terms of not only topping themselves, I think this might be better. This is better than the majority, if not all, of Blackpink's songs. Holy shit. I see the only songs I see might be better. I mean, I have a soft spot for D4, um, but Playing With Fire, and a, like, as if it's your last is great. So even, even then, this is better than that. I'd say Playing With Fire might be the only song I'd say is better than... Forever Young. Forever Young is amazing. Forever Young is the best Blackpink song, but, um, like, out of their title tracks, I'd say Playing With Fire is the only one I might say is, like, better than this or comparable. <sighs> holy shit, I was gonna say Itzy were gonna be the next big thing, and I still think Itzy are gonna be the next big thing, but holy crap! Oh, I'm so shook. Oh my god, that was amazing. I just, I was saying, it reminds me of, like, Dua Lipa. I was saying it reminds me of Sunmi. I was saying as dumb as I think like when we disco is. And you're like, what the hell is that? It's JYP and Sunmi. It's a Sunmi. It's a really dumb song. As dumb as I think it is. The fact that like disco is like a comeback is a thing. And like 80s synth pop. Oh, I love I, I'm a huge fanatic of um Taylor Swift's 1989 album. Um I've been since I was like 14, so yeah, I'm pretty big into synth pop. Um holy crap, I am so shook. Okay. I can't wait to hear the rest of the EP now. So um I'm gonna look up line distribution for this because I'm very curious. La di da line distribution because I know line distribution is something that they've been a bit um not great at. Um, I'll put it that way. Obviously it's not their fault, it's their company. But I'm just kinda curious to see if the line distribution is any better this time around. Alright. Um we got hexagons, it's probably sped up. Um also so that I ignore that. Kind of loud. I love. You're in. Okay. See in. Sigh in. I guess. I don't know. Mia there, okay. Aisha? The thing is, Mia usually gets like ha twice as many lines as everyone. Here and again. Here. She's, she's, I love her. Aisha's finally getting likes too. I love Aisha. Oh my god. I think Aisha's my bias wrecker. Anda getting lines finally <laughs> Finally Mia's in last place right now. Holy shit. Mia usually gets like twice as many lines as everyone. Sian is mainly taking vocals here. EU. Okay, finally Mia. Okay, good. She's still getting lines. <laughs> Yeah, I knew that was me there. Yeah, now she's in first. Okay. She's main vocal. I expect her to get first. I just wanted to see if the others got... On the got eight seconds. That's better than... Not, better than no lot. Uh, but Onda's lines are, like, original. Like, they're not just ad-libs. Like, Onda actually got lines. Here, she gets it, too. Like... Aisha! Aisha getting a ton of lines. Oh, and she and me are singing together. Sick. Okay, it's urine getting leased here. Even though she opened the song.
seen. Aisha? It's not that bad. Oh, urine. Hey! Now she's getting lines. Nice vocal. I really like Steven's voice. So I haven't seen I don't know how to pronounce it. I really like her voice. Dude, these vocal queens are snapping. Both her and Mia are just going off. Okay, that's not too bad. I think, um... The thing is, I mean, the rappers and stuff didn't get as many lines. It's definitely not a rap-oriented song, so I can I can forgive that. I mean, the other songs were a lot more, you know, kind of hard-hitting rap-oriented. Um, we got Aisha. Um, Aisha actually got lines. Aisha and Yuren actually got lines. Um, on this still last, uh, but 16 seconds, and they were, like, actual lines, though. It wasn't ad-libs. Uh, EU, 18 seconds. Again, no rapping. I'm not expecting. And Aisha, I'm not expecting Mia Ton, and Yuren getting 24. And then Sian and Mia, uh, they're 10 seconds apart, so Mia got 10 seconds more than Sian, which... Um, is perfectly acceptable for a line distribution. Uh, holy shit! <laughs> like, Mia getting 10 seconds more? That, that's main vocal. That's perfectly acceptable. Um, so it seems like they have somewhat fixed the line distribution as well. Okay, so, so there's times where Mia's had like 50%. Okay, so she had like 29% here. CN at 23, Urine at 14, Aisha 13, EU 10, and on a 9. Okay. So, like, yeah, over half of the song was Mia and Sion, Sion together, but, like, they're both great, and, yeah, so I'm cool with it. I'm cool with the line distribution. I am more than cool with this line distribution, like, oh, I'm shook, honestly. I want to see, like, what some of the comments are saying, if they're... I'm actually just glad Yuren and Anda got lines, like, real lines. And Yuren has more than Eve and Aisha no freaking way. Finally, Anda and Yuren aren't making weird noises and shouting the same words. Okay, that's good. Yeah. So, actual lines. I'm happy. Okay, so I'm gonna react to Stray Kids now, because I've not seen this. Uh, Stray Kids is Backdoor. Is that the name? Backdoor, yeah. Um... Uh, my friend is obsessed with Stray Kids, so I always feel like I have to, like, <laughs> keep up with them. But, um, you know, it's just one of those things that I, um, you know, that I, that I, you know, I'm really into, like, um, I mean, I like Stray Kids. I do like Stray Kids. Ooh. It's Mexican. So hot. Okay. <laughs> I'm saying Hyunjin is something else. And oh my god, what is that haircut? What is that hair? Look at his hair! The hair! Don't ever cut your hair, sir. Oh, he's cute. I forget. Is that Hanjin? I forget. I don't know all the members. No, I mean, Hanjin's the one with the hair. Is that, um, what's his name? What's his name? Oh, God, the... Do I like the song? Yes, because the vibe is, like, the beat. I don't know. Hey, authorized personnel only. That means not Wu Jin. I had to make one joke. I mean, it's not something to joke about, but. I had to clown on Wu Jin at least once in this video. Holy. 
Yeah, no, I know that guy. I just don't remember his name. Um, like, again, my friend ults them, so. She writes fanfic of them. But I kind of like that. I mean, I wasn't crazy about God's Menu. I love Easy. That song is amazing. I don't know if this is something that's, like, going on my playlist. I mean, it'll go on my playlist, but, like, where I listen to this constantly, probably not. But, like, it's cool. Speaking of it, yeah, the hair is nice. Yeah, that guy, he's singing, I don't know. Okay, that hair is interesting. It's, like, almost punk. The hair, I cannot get over his hair. Dancing is great. Wow, uh, the dancing is so good. <laughs> okay, why are there only seven of them? Oh, wait, there he is in the back. I was like, why are there only seven of them dancing? Where's the other guy? Holy shit! Dancing is insane. You want to come in? Oh, I like I like the performance. Um, it's really great. So, um, next one is CL. I've not. I've been holding off. I was hoping this would be on Spotify, but I'm assuming she'll release this on Spotify once she releases more songs or like because this is just this is called official intro video. So this is just her saying hi. I'm back. This isn't like you know a real song. It's two minutes. <laughs> if you find somebody like me around you, you let him know. That's cap. Post up in my bigger stands, bigger dreams, whole lot of bigger things. Said you're about to re up bands, I'll bust it another bottle, get up ten. She knows it, C H A P L I, and that's me. We stay five, be that night. Girl, you want to be at night, the door to the temple. She's bad. The queen is bad. So, I assume this is like the intro for her album, so, you know, she's probably gonna release like a real, like, so, I mean, this is a real song, right? You know, it's, an, it's more of an intro. Like, Queen! Dance breaking? It's definitely more of an intro than a real song. Like I said, I can't wait for like the real like single that's gonna come out. Like I, I don't know when, but obviously it will. Girl, get those moves on. She's fire. She's fire. Girl. It's probably why it's not on Spotify because it's just an intro. Girl. Oh my. Blue flames. Holy crap. That's cool. That is epic. All right, I'm I'm liking. I'm I'm like that. Um. And um. Uh, where am I gonna go down here? Um, Queen is back. Yes, Queen is back. Indeed. Seals in an idol. She's an artist. Did you see some down? Probably didn't get the memo. It's just an intro and it's fire. <laughs> Alright, so I think the last one is uh, The Boys with a Z. Alright, The Boys. B O Y Z. Alright. Um, so The Stealer, that's the one. Alright. Again, my friend posted about this, so.
Ooh. Dang it. I don't know how many, but that's cool. Dude, I like the dancing. It's like... <laughs> oh! Giving me, like, major NCT vibes. Speaking of NCT, holy shit! NCT 2020, 23 member- holy fuck! Okay, I like the rapping. Like, the rapping- it, it's giving- no, okay, now it's giving me EXO vibes! Like, the rapping is giving me EXO vibes. Yes! I'm getting like major NCT EXO vibes. Fragile oh, Handle of Care. That was like a heart stealer, like heartbreaker. I love, just for the record, I am pretty much like my favorite like groups and stuff. Like I'm, um, I mean, I like all like K pop groups and artists, whatever. But my favorite is, um, like my favorite groups, like, most of my favorite groups are from SM. Like SM is my favorite like company in terms of like their groups, not like company politics, but like, you know, in terms of like, you got like SMYG, GAYP, and then like the smaller companies. I think like SM has my favorite like output of all the major companies. So like when I hear something that sounds like an SM song, I'm not complaining. <laughs> I mean, like, Super M, I mean, like, that's the, that's the vibe I'm getting out of it, like, speaking of Super M, they're coming out with things soon, another, oh, I like his voice, he's got a nice voice, I think it's just, like, I'm getting major, like, EXO vibes. But also, like, NCT. The heart. The heart stealer. Like, the funkier, like, kind of beat, like... I like it because it's not just, like, another just boy group song that's just noise and, like, performance, you know? Like, just dancing. It's like, oh, it's just noise and rapping. It's not, like, an actual, like, you know, song. But, like, this is, like, a song that like, has, like, an actual, like, beat and, like, groove to it. You know, it's, like, actually, like, really, really catchy. You know, kind of reminds me of, like, EXO, like I said. So, like, that guy even looks a little bit, like, high. Honestly, I love it. <laughs> Okay, I like it a lot more. Like, I was initially thinking, oh, it's just another song, you know? Another boy group song. MCT vibes, baby! Like, actual vocal flexing? Love? Nice! It's like I don't usually um, pay attention to boy groups because I don't think they like their vocals are like they used to be. This is a boy group I like almost want to pay attention to. I say almost because I don't have the energy to stand even boy groups that I do listen to. I don't have energy to learn the members, so. Like I'm like halfway to standing Stray Kids. Like if I'm gonna stand anyone, it should be ATs. It should be ATs that I want. Like, cause they're, I love their songs, dude. Holy! The dancing's great too. Love, 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 love. That is so good. No, it's not the best thing I've heard all day because that Everglow song is like impossible to top. But hey, it's something. It's really good, actually. I'm getting recommended Shiny and I'm not complaining. <laughs> uh, but uh, anyway, uh, I wanted to see did Mama Moo release a video? Um, Mama Moo want to be myself. Did they release a video for this? Because I saw, I've heard the song. Okay, they did. Um, so I have heard this song, um, like, twice, because I had it on my Spotify. 
I've been listening to a ton of Mamamoo recently, so... Oh, she's so pretty! Yeah. So, like, their music is really good. So pretty. Girl. Stop killing me with your visuals, girl. She has such a unique voice and visual. Beautiful. Be oh! Moonbill? I love Moonbill so much. You know her song, Absence? That's, oh my god, that song makes me cry. Like, it was like 2 fucking a.m. and I was in my feelings. And I was like, damn. I love Kwanzaa. Kwanzaa always steals the show from me. Like, she always catches my eye. Like, like I think they're all insanely talented. I try to pay attention to like all the members, but Kwanzaa is just a stealer. Solar that I love her. Is it is it weird that I always thought Solar looks a tiny bit like Fergie? I don't know why. <laughs> but like this moon again. She's so pretty. She's like such a boss bitch, like her aesthetic is just oh. Dude, she's so pretty. What God, Wasa, you need to stop. I love the rest. Like, I don't mean to be this person, but like my initial reaction, like I've seen people like say, oh, Hwasa's ugly, like blah, blah, blah. I'm like, what the fuck? Like my initial reaction, like I saw her in, um, I think egotistic and I was like, she's so freaking hot. Like I was just like, when I saw Hwasa the first time, I was like, holy crap. I was like so attracted to her. And I'm like, I'm never attracted to like K-pop women as much because I was like, at that point I was familiar with like black, pink and Everglow and like just a more cuter, younger. I was like, not like, oh my God, they're hot. But like Hwasa, I was like, holy shit. Yeah. Anyway. Oh my. Stop it, girl. Girl, you must stop. Well, I guess it's a special release order. It's not technically a comeback, but who gives a shit? It's Mama Who gives a shit? Solar, Solar is so pretty. Just. Just Joey. They're all pretty, like. Oh my god, stop it, Huasa. Huasa just, like, I cannot help but be attracted to her. I'm sorry. Like, I know she's controversial. I know about the stuff she's done. Like, like. Which is so cute. Solar Queen. Oh, where's my- okay, she's back there. They're all- they're all there. They're vocal queens, honestly. Just chilling on the balcony. She's so pretty. They're all- Disco Ball! Yay! Yay for Mama Moo. That's all I can really say. Just yes, queens. Um, so I've been, have I missed anything else? Are we are we caught up? Um, I I'm wondering. Um, so just new K-pop, new K-pop. Um, let's see if I've missed anything. Um, updated September 2020. Okay. Oh, there was a new treasure song, wasn't there? Okay, treasure, um, treasure, what is it called? Go going crazy, no, it's not the, I love you, I think that was the one. I love you, yeah. Okay, this came out, um, three days ago, okay, yeah, this is, this is it. Okay, so, I wasn't crazy about the first one, no offense, um, but I'll see if this is any different. Ooh, got more heartbreak themes. Oh, 
This is giving me like a tease vibes right off the bat. Now it's giving me like icon vibes. Oh. The visuals are nice. I like I like the visuals a lot. Dig it! This is better. This is a lot better than the other song. The other song was like kind of just noise. This is a lot better. This has been a good episode. Everything I've reacted to, dude, has been good. Like. They're so cute, I cannot! With these. <laughs> also, TXT is having a comeback soon. Just thought I would mention that. <laughs> Another comeback, dude. It's got like a more orchestra vibe to it than the other one, which is just like brassy. I like that. They're so cute. I was, I'm getting like winter vibes. You like think I hate winter. I don't actually hate winter. I just don't love them. That dude kind of looks like, um, he looks like somebody. Like one of the, he looks like somebody in BTS. Like, I don't know why. Like one of them. I used to be a big BTS fan, so I know them a little bit too well. I don't stand them anymore. Um, it's kind of a bob, I'm not gonna lie. Like, how looks like V, that one guy? With, oh my god. Just. Okay, yeah, that's actually good. That's actually way much better than the other songs I've heard from them. The other song, I mean, there was only one other song, but I like it. Um, yeah, pretty rookie of the year 2020. I don't know. I like um, for girl. There are some girl group rookies that are really like. Oh, when the hell is Secret Number having a comeback? That's what I want to know. And Signature. When are they having comebacks? I heard Weekly's having a comeback. Oh, uh, let me just let me just see New K-pop. Let me just see if there's anything else that has come out that I've missed. Um, just to be sure, um, uh, I don't want to play all, because that's the new, that's the newest song in the playlist. Everglow, I Love You, Okay, The Boys Stealer. There's a song called COVID-19, what the fuck? Bumkey and Super B, COVID-19. <laughs> They're just, I'm just laughing that there's a song called COVID-19. Blank Shop, Love Song, Wampo. Solar... Wait, Solo released a song? What? A solo song? Dun, dun, dun. Solar Queen. <laughs> Something again? I can read what she said. She's just making a music video for the fun of it, you know. This isn't like a big release or anything. I, I like, I find Mama Moo really likable, I'll admit that. I know there are people who don't like them, but. I'm just chilling in my house. 
<laughs> Welcome to Solar World. What? <laughs> I love her. <laughs> Look, I'm just gonna film a music video for the heck of it. That's kind of the vibe. <gasps> Look, it's been, like, she has a YouTube channel. I have not watched. I mean, I assume this is on her YouTube channel. What does it say? Solar Sido. Solar Sido. That is her YouTube channel. I don't, I don't, see, I don't, I don't know what her YouTube channel is. But. So cute. Just flexing her vocals for a minute. That's a great retro retro vibe to it. I love mommy, dude. That's so cute. <laughs> it's like this so cute. She's just saying, she's just chilling that the solar the solar side of song. After making, uh, Ritz no, shut up. After making the Solar Sido channel, I was just reading the uh, description. The Solar Sido channel. I oh, it went to the next one. That's it. Um. Um. No, back. After making the Solar Sido channel, working hard, something good like this happened. I put light and enjoyable and happy feelings into the song, like the Solar Sido channel. All right. Um. Wait. There's a special clip of Break the Wall. Oh, wait, from a Nine had to come back? I don't care. Um, wait, Pentagon had to come- wait, what? <laughs> what? Did Pentagon actually have a comeback already? Bro, what? <laughs> okay, Dreamcatcher Break the Wall. This is actually the last one I'm going to watch today. Whatever I haven't seen, I will change. Because I love this song, but I didn't know there was a special clip out for it. Girl, is your arm okay? This is my favorite song on the album, by the way. <laughs> Cute. So cute. Not what I would expect from this song, but hey, it's cute. I'm not complaining. <laughs> Give me my coffee, bitch. Dreamcatcher just do in their free time. <laughs> it's just what they do in their free time. This is just how they spend their days. <laughs> Beautiful. She's just like so worked up. She's like, bitch, get up. Two random dudes just sitting there. I assume they, they, you know, they're work for the company. I assume they're some sort of, you know, probably managers or producers or something. Oh my god. <laughs> like this is like this is some metal energy right here. What do you Where did he go? Going back inside. Hey. Her rapping is fire. <laughs> Boop. <laughs> Yay. 
Yes, this is awesome. And now they're feeding each other yogurt because why the hell not? but I love it. Ah. I love it. Losing it laughing off at me. <laughs> They're so, oh my god. They're such crackheads. Look at her face. She's like, Nyee! I swear, I can think of like, sh like, I swear, I can think of like Shiny Johnion making that exact face. Like, I can probably find it. <laughs> The shoes. Oh. <laughs> I love. Okay. So let's see what else, just out of curiosity, I just want to see what else I have missed because it looks like there's actually a good bit that I've missed. So we've got Solar, like I said. Okay. K and K don't really care that much. Pentagon. Pentagon might be like actually a big deal. Um Promise Nine don't care. Be a white boy, don't care. That's an OST song. Taeyeon, I assume it's also an OST song, because I don't... Yeah, do you like Brahms' OST? Okay. Moonbin. Stray Kids, yeah, I saw that. Yuxeri. I don't even know who some of these people are. This looks like a great playlist, actually. Um, Yeah, Mom, I want to be myself. Ch Chen, another OST track. V U A. Taming Criminal, yeah, I've, it's definitely... Okay. Yeah, I, I saw that. Um, okay, so I'm gonna actually save this playlist if I can, because this should be the extensive playlist for all the releases. Woo! Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Sorry, it was a bit of a longer episode, but there was just so much I had not caught up on. But anyway, um, thank you so much, and I'll see you all next time. Bye!